They're like spirits to me. Bev fashions dresses that stand the test of time. Our clothing outlives us. Forged by fire, shaped by hammer. I like the physicality of it. Her medium steel, not silk. Her thread, molten wire. Her work, larger than life. You do this kind of thing with the whole process and suddenly it's bigger than you thought it was going to be. And her inspiration, a dearly departed friend. The so-and-sos were inseparable. She made all our clothes for school and for the prom and for graduation and then for the weddings and on and on and on. Bev became the artist. Catherine, the wardrobe consultant in San Francisco. Seven years ago, leukemia took her away. It's the gift that she left me. You go through grief and suddenly something happens and just got the urge to go make a dress in honor of Catherine. I hadn't ever made anything close to a dress before. Today, the garden is her wardrobe. When she passed away, that was when I made the first dress, was um, sort of in honor of her tribute to my friend Catherine. Acrid smoke swirls skyward, away from the searing heat, the sparks dancing to the sizzle of the plasma cutter. All the while, Dad's old chipping hammer keeping the beat. I didn't even know what it was for the longest time. I just thought it was very cool. <laughs> I don't think my dad would call himself a feminist, but he really was. He didn't draw any lines for me. An artist all her life, this East Souk metalhead moved from graphic arts to grinding art 15 years ago. They started calling me the welding witch. <laughs> Just kind of caught on. Yeah, it's a challenging way to make a living, hammering and bending and making lots of noise. Bev calls her work a full body experience. If I had to go back to painting, I'd still want to be painting big canvases. <laughs> Interestingly, Bev says slagging metals a lot like sewing. Don't have to hammer fabric, which is kind of a <laughs> big difference. <laughs> Patterns are drawn or imagined, then cut. And then just start overlaying cuts so that I'm shaping it, hammering it, welding it, tacking it, trial and error, and, you know, stitching and grinding. An evolutionary process. Can I make steel look like fabric? You know, is that even possible? What do you think? The dresses can take months to complete. A lacquered finish makes them eternal. Some are etched with acid, bringing out a chocolatey patina, like the ones for her latest gallery. In the Abkhazi garden, it's going to be like Princess Peggy is still sort of wandering around. So um, they're, they're sort of little spirit forms in a way. Or perhaps memorials. Her dearest dress titled, She Left on the South Wind, billows proudly to the delight of happy homeowners modeled in the garden built around her. Bev's favorite, her tribute to her lifelong friend. You know, she'll always be kind of sewn into the <laughs> fabric of it, if you will, yeah. Blossoming forever among the greenery.